Hi everybody, my name is Elizabeth Nicholson. I'm the Instructional Services Librarian at Osterley Library. I'm also this year serving as the Interim Coordinator of Library Services, uh, but honestly for you that doesn't mean anything because my role uh, as, as I work with the uh, card courses is to serve as your resource for the research needs and strategies and resources uh, that you have for, for your projects that you'll be doing. So just to give you a little bit of information about myself, some of the things that I do when I'm not in the library. Um, on campus, I am the faculty mentor for the men's and women's wrestling teams, so I always love to cheer them on and hopefully this year we will get to have a competitive season in the winter. Um, but. We'll see, we'll see. As long as we can do it safely, um, I will be there cheering loudly. Uh, I am a, myself, I was a first generation college student, so I'm active in the Cardinal First program here. If you are a first gen college student as well, I look forward to um, getting to know you a little bit more at some of those events. That'll be fun. Hopefully, you know, won't be too weird or anything, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, and then also, I, I'm on the veteran support uh, team. So if you're a veteran, also welcome. Thanks for your service. I'm looking forward to getting to know you as well. So I'm, I'm fairly active both in the library and around the rest of campus because one of my favorite things to do is to work with, work with students, get to know you, get to know what your research interests are, um, and just, you know, if you have questions even outside of, of library research, I'm, I'm always happy to listen and if I don't know the answer to the question, to get you to the person or the source that, that can provide you with some information. Um, one of the things I do want to say before we even talk about library research, even though that's my that's my passion and that's why we're here, and we have a couple, we have several sessions this this um, over this academic year that we'll be seeing each other. Um, but the the most important thing is that uh, the the main takeaways I want you to have from your library sessions are one, um, knowing where the library's website is knowing where the library building is, and knowing where in the building to ask for help. Those are kind of my three library goals. But the overall goal, genuinely, is for you to know that you have a network of support here at North Central. Um, I don't, I don't want to be over dramatic or, or you know, overly alarmist, but we, we are going through some wild times right now. And I know you've been talking about that and having to have that said to you in every single meeting or orientation session that, that we have. So it feels a little bit excessive to have that hammered home. But if you need help, if you have questions and you're not sure who to ask and you're afraid you're going to look silly and you're not you don't want to you know look 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 stupid in class for asking a question that you think other people know the answer to one let me tell you if you're thinking it somebody else is also wondering the same thing. So so please hold that in your heart when you're thinking about um, things that you're not sure about. But also you can come to the library. You can come to me, you can ask me directly, you can send me an email, you can ask your professor one-on-one, -on -one. you know, if you have, you know, if you're living on campus, talk to your RA, talk, if you're an athlete or in some other, um, some other program, you know, ask your coach, ask your artistic director. We want to help you succeed. We don't want you to feel like you have to do things on your own. And, and, you know, if it's, a, if it's a larger issue, if it's feeling more like, like a, a mental or physical or emotional health issue, you know, we've got Dyson, uh, the Dyson Wellness Center as an option as well. So please remember that, that you don't have to do things by yourself. And something I always advise my wrestlers is if you think you feel like things are going poorly or you have a day where you're like, oh, if I just don't do this one thing, I know that I'm going to, you know, just kind of fall off everything and end up staying in my bed and playing video games for the next three weeks. Um, tell someone, even if it's just your roommate, even if it's even, you know, you mention it to a classmate, you want to talk to, you want to talk to the random library lady, you want to come talk to me, um, that's fine. But just tell someone just so you can get that out. Okay, and I'm sorry, this is going deeper than I meant it to, but I, but I genuinely want you to know that, that you have a support system here at North Central. Um, and hopefully you've been hearing that in other places as well. So after, after we've gotten through this heavy emotional lifting, um, let's transition into, into library resources. We're going to go over in this, in this first online library session that we have, we're going to go over the, um, 
just the the basics right now because it's the beginning of the semester you may not have a lot of really pressing research assignments where it's like oh i've got to pull together like 12 different types of resources and synthesize them and put them all into this this presentation or this paper um but and not to scare you, but that's coming, right? That's coming in, in a lot of in a lot of a lot of courses. So we got to be prepared for that. So we we're going to use this first session to get you through the basics, so that you know how to navigate the library's resources. You know how to identify things that would be useful for you, request resources that will be useful for you, access resources that will be useful for you. So before we even get to that, though, we're going to talk a little bit about kind of we can't we can't ignore it. Um, the pandemic procedures that we have at the library. The Office of Marketing and Communications on campus has created a really cute short video that I'm going to link here to. You may have seen it already, but it's nice to just have again to remind yourself. Um, the basics there are, you know, masks on, cardinal card in hand to get into the building. And then after that, come to the information services desk and we'll we'll get you to where you need to go. Um, the big desk in the in the lobby at the library. So got our COVID procedures that you'll you'll walk through and, and get to understand. We'll have uh, just a general overview of the library's website, our search tool that you can use, and then also um, just just what's in the building. Right. So if you if you are coming here and you're looking for a place to study, what is that going to look like? What what level of the building should you go to? Or if you have questions, you know, for me, where do you go? Or if you, you know, you just want to find a computer somewhere and tuck yourself away. Can you do that? Yes. And we'll talk about that. So, yeah, that's just the overview for today is just getting you to the point where you know kind of what's in the building and how to access it. Um, if you have questions while you're doing this. Uh, please, please reach out. Please let me know. There is going to be an activity related to the videos that you'll be asked to complete. Um, there's one linked on the library's website on the on the card course guide for you. Um, but that, depending on how your professor wants you to interact with the information, it may look a little different. Since it's the beginning of the semester, I don't have all of that information yet. But by the time you are ready to complete this module, that should be ready for you. So one of the things you'll need to know most definitely is your professor's name and ideally probably the time that you're supposed to be <laughs> in class. So, so yeah, so I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity to work with all of you and to hopefully meet you in, in person rather than virtually. Um, our second session, because we do have two scheduled this fall for, for the card courses, um, this first one is gonna be all kind of virtual videos online where we're not interacting overly much in person. But our second session, depending on what your professor decides would be the most beneficial, we might do a virtual visit where, you know, I'm kind of live streaming into your classroom. We could do another set of videos. Um, it just it just depends. We're going to have some, I'm going to have some discussions with your faculty just to see what makes the most sense. And actually it might end up being a combo of those things because while it's nice to have me live and talking to you and getting to see you face-to-face -face over a camera, um, there might be some content that you want to see again or be able to play back and say, oh, I don't exactly remember how she did that. Can I just watch that video again? So we're going we're gonna to work on that. We're going to try to be flexible as, as much as possible. So please let me know if you have any questions. Again, my name is Elizabeth Nicholson. I'm the Instructional Services Librarian, and let's, let's do some, some library introductions. <laughs>